Welcome to this ISO Valent Cilium Tech Flash episode on Cluster Mesh Service Affinity. I'm Nico and uh, thanks for uh, watching this video. Uh, this is actually a follow up to a Cluster Mesh video that my colleague Ray did, uh, which was a great introduction to Cluster Mesh, why you might want to use it to connect your Kubernetes clusters together. And I came in with a great demo as well. Now, uh, in Cilium 1.12, we are introducing a new feature called Service Affinity, which is really about the ability to direct traffic um, either locally or remotely and to provide some, some preference on uh, how your load balance uh, traffic to your clusters or between clusters. Now, let's have a look at uh, what actually happens by default and up until uh, this new feature came up. Now, if you use cluster mesh to connect your Kubernetes clusters together and use the uh, global load balancing feature, uh, what happens is when traffic uh, enters your, um, essentially your, 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 your backend service, traffic will be load balanced between uh, all the backends, whether they are local or remote, it will be essentially distributed evenly across all backends, assuming they're healthy. Um, so that, that worked great, but you might want to have more um, granularity in how you want traffic to be distributed across your backends. And that's what we're introducing with Service Affinity. With uh, a couple of different options, one is called local and one is called remote, and uh, the previous default options is set uh, to, um, to none, uh, the default one. So with the local service affinity, what we are doing is we are telling um, our, our, our traffic to prefer the local backends. Assuming the backends are, are, are healthy, traffic will uh, enter um, the, uh, the, the cluster IP and will be uh, load balanced between uh, the local healthy backends and same here on both, both clusters. Now imagine uh, the backends here were to become unhealthy for whatever reason, the traffic will be fell over automatically to your remote site, which is a you know, perfect example of uh, you know, distributed or, or global load balancing. Um, so that's brilliant. So that just gives you a, you know, it's just one single line of code. What you'd be using is an annotation to specify that a service is is local, remote, or again, you can keep stick to the standard behavior where traffic was distributed evenly across all healthy uh, connected clusters. Now we also have another option, which is probably going to be less used, but it can be handy which is uh, the remote option, where you might want to, to tell the traffic to go to the remote site. And it could be maybe for Canary deployments where you want to do some uh, upgrade on your back local backends and you want the traffic to go away from your local backends towards the remote site. And again, if the remote sites were to become unavailable, uh, you will actually prefer uh, to use the local traffic. Um, as I mentioned, it's just one line of code uh, to uh, in your service specification. You can add an annotation that says, okay, the service affinity is set to local. And likewise for remote. Now let's have a look at the demo to see how it all works. Now let's have a look at the demo. So what we're going to do here is we're going to uh, generate some traffic from a, a, a local pod to a service that is globally available across multiple clusters connected in a cluster mesh. And we're going to try this with different types of service affinity to see what happens uh, when, um, when, when traffic is distributed or when a pod fails. So let's uh, have a quick look at what we've got here. So we're actually using kind to run out uh, our 
clusters. And if we look, we've got Cilium is working, enabling the cluster mesh. We're actually in the kind services service affinity one context. And if you look at the cluster mesh status, we can see that the cluster connection to kind service affinity two is configured and connected. So we've got two clusters connected with cluster mesh and it's working fine. We've deployed a couple of demon sets in the namespace demo. Everything is ready and working. So eco server demon set is for is, our, is essentially our very basic HTTP server, and we'll be running some curl requests from the net shoot demon set. The pods are there and healthy. Now we're going to have a quick look at the services. So we've uh, already deployed three services, local, known, and remote. Now the so known again is uh, the default mode, the one we, we had in, uh, in previous times before 1.12 was released. And that will load balance the, the traffic across all the healthy endpoints. Local would prefer the local cluster and remote would prefer the remote cluster. And the way to set this up was by using annotation is in the services specification. can see we are specifying the surface affinity of local, remote, or not. Okay, let's start first by uh, generating traffic from our uh, pod to the cluster IP service. So we're generating a hundred requests. We are essentially connected to um, the, the client and we're running curl requests and then we're just filtering and uh, displaying the request. So you can uh, essentially count how many of the requests are uh, staying local or going to the remote cluster. So it's with uh, the default behavior, when we send 100 requests, what we expect to see is a pretty even distribution across the two clusters. 50-50, perfect. It's sometimes it's, uh, you will see 48-52 or 47-53, but it's roughly a, a round-robin distribution across the two, um, the two clusters. Okay. Now, what um, we can do next is to start sending traffic to our remote. So here, again, we are sending requests from a pod which is in cluster one to a globally available service, which is available both in cluster one and in cluster two, the pods are healthy, but because we've set the affinity to remote, the traffic will automatically be sent to the remote site. Now let's run some uh, 
um, a local connectivity test from a pod in the cluster one to uh, a service set up to a local affinity annotation to ensure that the traffic stays locally. So what we expect here to see is all the traffic to prefer the local um, local pod. Okay. Now, to demonstrate that the traffic would access the remote cluster, let's delete the pod. We'll so go into this in, in a different window. As this part of a demon set, it would autom automatically be recreated. But we, while it's being uh, recreated, we're going to rerun the command we ran before. And then what we expect to see is traffic to be redirected to um, the remote site. And you can see all the answers, uh, the, the responses from the cluster has been from the, um, the other pod. As uh, clearly we are still terminating the uh, um, the echo server. Now this is uh, that that's it for the demo. Hopefully, what you can see is uh, um, how we can use this service affinity to have some more granularity in how we direct traffic to our um, you know between our clusters and. Um, at the local, the remote, and uh, the standard known options. I hope this was helpful. Uh, if you want to learn more, again, the, you, know, you can head out to docs.cilium.io. And um, yeah, if you have any other feedback, feel free to jump on the Slack channel, uh, the Cilium and EBPF Slack channel, and um, get in touch. Thank you for watching. Bye bye.